Hello, boys and girls, especially Mohammed bin Abdullah Jalir Kalata here, also known as Momo the Muzzy. Today, in this very special edition of my show, we're going to have a Quran study class today, in which we're going to learn about some very acute scientific miracles in the Quran. For example, were you aware that the Quran mentions the atmosphere? That is correct. The Quran mentions the atmosphere. If we open your Qurans and turn to Surah 21, Ayah 32, it clearly states, And we have made the heavens as a canopy, well guarded, yet they do turn away from the signs which these things point to. So see, the Quran talks about the atmosphere because canopy, you know, canopy, that's the atmosphere. And they couldn't have known that 1400 years ago. Not convinced? Well, if you need even more proof, let's go to Surah 67, Ayah 3. It says, He who created the seven heavens, one above another, no want of proportion, wilt thou see in creation of Allah, most gracious, so those thy vision again. Seest thou any flaw? So see? Seven layers, you know, that's clearly talking about the atmosphere. Because if we look here in my notes, the seven layers of the atmosphere are the troposphere, the stratosphere, the mesosphere, the thermosphere, the exosphere, the ionosphere, and the magnetosphere. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like it's stated in the Quran. Yet another miracle of the glorious Quran. Hold, hold it, it. Hold it. it. Hold it. Who are you? I am the voice of reason. I am here to debunk your so-called miracles in the Quran. Oh please, people have been trying to disprove Islam for 1400 years. If anything, that's just more proof that it's the true religion of God. Well, Christianity has been around for over 2000 years. So does that mean it's even more true? So, so, back to your scientific, scientific miracles. miracles. The Quran, Quran does not does talk, talk about the atmosphere. the atmosphere. I just showed you the verses, you stupid kafir. Yeah, well, well let's, let's go, go to 67.3, 67 shall, shall we? we? First, First off, off that's, that's just, just one, one translation, translation of that, that verse. verse. And two, and two, if we look at the tafsirs, which were written, which were written by, by Muslim, Muslam scholars that live closer to the, to the time of Muhammad, and tell us what the verses, verses actually meant, we get, we get a, a different story. story. For example, Tafsir bin Abbas states, And we have made the sky a roof, for the earth withheld from them, such that it does not fall. It is also said this means it is protected from the Satans by the stars. Yet they, i.e., the people of Mecca, turn away from them. They do not believe nor reflect upon its importance, its sun, the moon, and stars. But, but, but that's just one interpretation. True, but if we look at the major tafsirs, not a single one indicates that this verse is talking about the atmosphere, and it's consistent with other verses in the Quran. Oh yeah? Well then how come the Quran talks about seven layers of the atmosphere? I mean, if we look at 67.3, it states... Uh, uh, how important is it to take a verse in context? Uh, very important, duh. Right, so read the verses right after the ones you just mentioned. Okay, fine, I can do that. Again, turn thy vision a second time, thy vision, they will come back to thee, dull and discomforted, in a state worn out. And we have from old adorned the lowest heaven with lamps, 
and we have made such lamps as missiles to drive away the evil ones, and have prepared for them the penalty of the blazing fire. And those who reject their Lord and their cherisher is the penalty of hell, and evil is such destination. And when they are cast, they will hear the terrible drawing in of its breath, even as it blazes forth. So do you so do still, you still want, want to assert that this, this verse, verse is talking, talking about, about the atmosphere, or is it instead a profound scientific error and demonstrates, demonstrates the superstition that the Quran's author embraced? Uh, yeah, well, you don't know Arabic! And you need to know Arabic in order to understand the Quran. A very common Muslim defense. Let me ask you something. Do you need to know Latin to understand Catholicism? No. Do you need to know German to understand the politics of Hitler? No. So then why does one need to know Arabic to understand a book that is supposed to be written for all humanity? Well, you're just ignorant. Actually, you're the one who's ignorant. I saved the best part for last. If those verses I were talking about, the atmosphere, are even true, then your god has a counting problem, since the atmosphere has, in fact, only five layers, not seven. Subhanallah. Uh oh, spaghettios.